Okay, a return to work policy? Is that yes. the thing? Uh, yeah, you know, this is the uh, suggestion of, of work comp that we would need to have a return to work program in place. Um, this is their draft policy. And he asked that question at the last council meeting about, say, what happens when you have somebody come back on light duty, they exceed their work restrictions, and then they re-injure themselves. Mm -hmm. And the basis of this, the answer then, is this uh, agreement that they signed prior to coming back to work. It's on page 17. Just a little, uh, little two-paragraph deal that the employee acknowledges that they've... Uh, they understand the, the return to work policy, and they also um, say that they understand what the what the doctor is placed for restrictions on. Okay, and that if they do not follow the restrictions placed on them, that they're subject to disciplinary up to action up to including discharge. And um, would that be discharge without uh, you know um, compensation or what was comp or? And it's, if it's a, an egregious violation, you can just do what you term it. Termination. Yeah. Now, is this something that Termination for cause. Yeah. Right. And then uh, the only other thing I've wondered is, will a copy of the restrictions then go to the city supervisor for that employee? Mm -hmm. Because through me and the supervisor, we determine what are the appropriate jobs right. for that person while they're on light duty. Based upon the restrictions given from yeah, the limitations from that. Yeah. And what? The way we all have to, is that you have to sit out meeting with the individual, go over his restrictions, make sure that he fully understands it, that it's not implied, but it's talked about and it's out there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's that's the important, and then that's all got to be documented. Once that's documented, then we have to on file, and then something happens, something different. My other question is, will this be a negotiated item? To the union. Okay. No, it's okay. I, I, I guess that's my concern that the answer would be no reason. I, I don't think I so. I would intend either. to uh, work on it. Okay, that's what I want to do. So, Scott, would you make this a, a form then to then, and then when you have a sit down with, um, like the, Ken's talking about having a sit down with the group, you know, the employee, you, and maybe the supervisor, and then mm -hmm. yep. you gotta have and everybody sign that. Yep. yep. And that's it. That's basically that's the form right now. Well, maybe you can have the supervisor's signature then. Yeah, that way, everybody's on the same page. Mm -hmm. Because because mm -hmm. where you get in the trouble with that, if you, if you don't have a supervisor, they'll come back and say, well, my supervisor told me I had to do this. Mm -hmm. So now that you have all three signature on, everybody knows what the whole story, whole story is. So that way there won't be any confusion or, or uh, misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. Does this need to be approved by the council? Yeah, we need to also approve the policy. Do we have a motion to that effect? I can do that. I'll second it. Roll call. Thank you. Yes. Us. Yes. Thank you. Yes, with the fact that you will put a supervisor's signature on it too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. 